Hello everyone. Welcome to the Excel basic video tutorial. I will be showing you most of the basics that you need to know in order to get started using the MS Excel. I am using the Excel 2010 for Windows. If you have older version or the new version, no problem because there is a slight difference between the different versions. Let's start with the Microsoft Excel. Click on the start button. You can type the here directly Excel or click on the start, then click on the all programs, then go to the Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office and then click on Microsoft Excel 2010. This is our Excel workbook. In Excel, this file is known as workbook. In this workbook, there are the number of sheets, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, are the number of sheets stored inside the one workbook. This is Excel quick access bar. On this bar, save, undo, redo, this type of buttons are included. After this, here is file, home, insert, page layout. This is a menu bar. On this menu bar, different tabs are there. By default, home is open here. Home, insert, then page layout, formulas, data, review, view, and add-ins. These are the different tabs available on this menu bar. Let's click on the home or insert tab. Click on the home tab. After clicking on a home tab, one ribbon is displaying here. On this ribbon, there are the different groups. Groups relating the fonts, relating to the alignment of the text, relating to the number format, then styles, then pressure related to cells, and then editing. These are the number of groups available. And more options are stored. You can open the more option by using the launch option. Click on this. You will get the number of options here also. Only some of these options are available on this group on your ribbon. This is your formula bar and this is your name box. When you are clicking anywhere inside your sheet, then it will be displayed. This name box will display the cell name. These horizontal lines in Excel is known as rows and these vertical lines known as columns. When we are clicking on intersection of line, intersection of row and column, this box is known as cell and the location of this cell is here D8. It will display in the location of the click cell. How many rows and how many columns are in Excel? Click here. You will get number of rows available in one worksheet and number of columns available in one worksheet. We can create number of sheets by clicking on this icon. You can rename this sheet. Click and right click on it. You can insert, delete, rename number of operations for your sheets. Let's create one mark sheet here. Suppose first one is serial number, then name of the student, then paper 1 marks, then paper 2 marks, paper 3 marks. Here is a total and here is average of the marks. In Excel, there is a feature, no need to type each and every number. After clicking on two serial numbers, select these two, click on this square option. When solid plus is coming, drag, simply drag it till your destination, till the pen. In Excel, you can also use that feature at a field. Suppose you have clicked here, 
automatically it will reach till the end of month no need to type two month name here you can type only one name just and you will got after dragging it you will got all the month names similarly for the days this you can simply create the tables of number suppose i want the table of 2 then 2 4 then drag suppose we want the table of 22 then enter only first two numbers then you will get whole table here in this way you can enter the data now i am selecting this data and press delete from on keyboard to delete this data data is deleted i am here giving the name of the student and marks for the papers out of 100 paper 2 marks i'm deleting this extra numbers In this way you can enter the data inside the work worksheet. Let's do the border for this. Select the data then click on the all borders. You will suppose you want the only one border suppose the left or right or the top you can select from this option. You can give the thick box border or suppose you want the different border color you can select the border color from this suppose you want the different line style you can select from this here is more border options also available you can select any i want the all border option so i had click on this option suppose you want to give the name to this sheet name to this uh, data i am clicking here and giving the name this is my table name but when i am typing the data here this will be appear only sybcs clas suppose you want to merge these different cell select the cell click on this merge and center tab it will give the message the selection contains multiple data values merging into one cell will keep the upper left most data only okay i want only this data i don't want this data so i am clicking on okay so this is your name of this table you can increase the font size by clicking on this you can use the formatting option like bold suppose you want the different font face then click on this suppose you want the times new roman simply type here or search here i want times new roman roman data uh, font face you can increase the font size by clicking on this option or suppose you want the particular size then click on this i want the 16 or 14 click on this suppose you want the border for this then click on this now you have previously selected all borders so click on this option
you can give the color to your data by selecting the data you can change the font color you can choose the any color or suppose you want to fill the cells you can use this option fill color by using any color you can fill your cells suppose you want this table data at the center then in alignment group select this option center in one cell suppose you want at the top alignment or middle alignment or the bottom alignment you can choose i want this middle alignment suppose you want to write the first name and last name of the student you can write here you can edit the data in this cell by double clicking in this data or simply click on this cell and click in the menu bar and you can change the data you can change the data not a menu bar it is actually the formula bar this data is only some data will be displaying here so let's increase the column width you can increase the column width by using this option you can click here in between the d and e column you, you can increase the column width or you can use this format option from the cells group click on this format use the column width and select the required column width i want the 15 click on the okay suppose you want to increase the row height you can use this or use the simply option at a fit row height or at a fit column width you can use this option i want the column width is 15 so i am taking the this 15 from here you can wrap the text means suppose you want the data suppose the my data is my data is this i want to wrap this data in a single cell only then click on the wrap text option you can use this wrap text option to wrap the data in this cell only you can change the format of the type data by using the number group here you can select your data type suppose you want the number then you can select the number suppose in some cases you want the date then click on the short date or long date or suppose you are entering the time then select the time you can choose the any format from this for more number format click on this tab you will get the more number format you can increase the font size and style to this data click on this button increase the font size suppose you want the different color for this suppose i am giving the green color to this name and the font style bold and italic also suppose you want the same style to other text also you can simply click on this format painter and click on the destination data format painter copies all the uh, formatting of one place and apply it to the other place you can copy the whole table from one location to the other location you can use this button copy or you can simply select control c for the copy and you can paste this table to the other location by control v or use the this paste option for permanently moving the data you can cut and paste the table suppose you want to change the direction of the text entered you can use this option angle counter clockwise clockwise vertical text rotate text up 
any option you can select from this. This is vertical text option. Or suppose you want the different style, you can use this. This option, orientation of text. I have given some effect here. Let's clear this formatting by using the clear. Clear formats, clear contents, clear comments or clear all. I am clearing the formats only. So after removing the formats, this formatting uh, like uh, styles, then borders and then colors will not appearing now. Not displaying now. This is simple text. You can suppose you want the one table in between paper 3 column and total column. In between the G and H. You can insert the sheet column. You can give the name here. Suppose you want the row in between these. Then you can insert the sheet row. You can write the here name. You can write the data for this. Suppose I don't want this table, uh, sorry, uh, this column edge, then you can delete this column by clicking on delete, delete sheet column. Suppose you want to calculate the total of these three subjects, use this auto sum option, click on this, select the sum and select the data and then enter. Sum will be calculated automatically. This display, this formula bar displaying which formula is used here. So sum of E4 to G4. This E column fourth row means this 78 to G column fourth row 23. The sum is this. After calculation of one cell by applying this formula, you can simply click on this. When this is a different sign, when you are clicking on this, this four headed arrow is a different pointer. When you are clicking on this corner, then the pointer changes to plus solid. Click on this and drag. You will get the sum of all the students mark. In this way, you can calculate the average also. Use this formula again. Use the average. Average of which cell? Select only three cells. Then press the enter. You will get the average of the student. Then drag it till the data. You will get the average of all students. In this way, you can use this home tab with the different groups and different formatting uh, options, alignment option, number option from this ribbon. We will learn how to make chart, how to create chart of given data, how to sort the data, how to use filter in the next section, next video.